Hello. Hey, everyone. Say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. And oh my gosh, I want to know, were you registered for Avon kickoff? Did you get to catch some of those replays or hopefully you got to catch some of it live? But if you missed it live and you were registered, don't worry. All of those general sessions and product expos are available on demand um, at avonkickoff.com. Just click the watch tab and you can go back and watch those when it's convenient for you. Nice. Hey, team. So it was so good to hug some of your necks in Beverly Hills. Wow, what an amazing experience that event was. Avon just took no um, no stops. I don't know what's what's the word I'm looking for. It was just it was just amazing, amazing event. Um, thank you, Avon, for putting that on for us. Um, so great to see everyone, and really excited about what this new year is um, bringing to us. So yay! But today is kind of a weird day, right? The next couple days are going to be kind of weird because the website's down, right? We knew it was coming. This is a planned outage because the brand new website is launching on Thursday, December 9th. So excited for the new website. There are so many enhancements coming our way. and. All month long, all, I don't know, for the past six months, we've been talking about this new website coming and it's finally here. I'm so excited. So I hope that you have been taking the training. I hope that you're ready and excited for the new features that we're going to be able to have, those, those new tools that we're going to be able to use for our new website. If you haven't had a chance to watch many of the trainings yet, no worries. There's a couple things um, that you can do. Of course, when the website is back, go back through Avon U and watch all of those replays in the resource library. But I wanted to talk to you today about what can we do, right? Because that's always the thing. Like when, when, hurdles come along in your business. Um, you, can, you can sit around and complain and be like, oh, woe is me. Or you can think, okay, what can I do right now when what I typically do is not available, right? So what can we do to stay productive while our website is down for the next two days? Again, it's coming back sometime um, Thursday, December 9th. Okay, what can we do? My first tip of what you can be doing in the next couple of days is to join the webinars that the learning and development team is doing for us right now. Um, there was one earlier today. There's another one coming tomorrow and another one coming Thursday. So check your email, check the junk folder from our account executives to see how to hop on those Zoom call trainings. It's off the Avon website, so you can totally still access it. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, I can't, I can't get on it at that time, no worries. Go ahead and register for the learning and development webinar because you're going to get an email um, with a reminder, but also an email with the uh, replay so that you can access it super easy um, when it's convenient for you. So register for those webinars. There's so much information in there and you can network and um, collaborate in the chat box. So Definitely, that's my first recommendation. Join those webinars that the learning and development team is hosting for us. Number two, the second thing you can be doing while the website is down. Learn a new skill, right? I am all about education and challenging yourself, doing something scared, and a lot of times that comes with uh, learning a new skill. So where can you learn a new skill while the website is down? We can read a blog from experts in our industry. Um, right here in this group, we have a lot of experts in our field, our industry, what we do. Like that's what this group is all about, learning from others. Um, some of my favorite uh, websites to learn from from people in our uh, field is um, timelessbeautylessons.com. 
um, that is written by Jennifer Francis. And she has topics like galore, like anything you want to learn how to do in this business, you can go up to the search engine, a little magnifying glass at the top and type in what it is that you want to learn how to do. Maybe you want to learn how to sell Avon on social media. Maybe you want to, to learn how to start your own blog. You can do so at TimelessBeautyLessons.com. Another one of my favorites uh, for learning and education about you know being a representative is EmbracingTheCurls.com. This one is written by Whitney Klein, and she has amazing topics from how to choose the right skincare for your customer, how to create a successful group and create engagement and um, fundraisers. So like, again, you, you know, use that search engine to, to type in the topic that you're actually looking for. My blog is beautybossessentials.com. And another one of my favorites is Online Beauty Bosses. Um, and that is written by Diane Hernandez. She is the queen of email marketing, and she has such good information on her blog as well. So, you know, these are experts in our field. They've, they've gone before you and, and done it successfully, and they're sharing their secrets and their tips with you on these websites for you to learn for free. Like, hello, thank you very much. Um, so use those free resources to learn a new skill. What I do when I don't know how to do something as well, like if I don't know how to do something or my husband doesn't know how to do something is you watch a video on YouTube. I mean, it's like it's like a search engine. It really is. Even this past weekend when we were traveling to California, I had to somehow pack a suit coat for my husband and not let it be totally wrinkled. How do you pack a suit coat in a travel size suitcase? I have no idea. I had no idea how to do it. So guess what I did? I went to YouTube and I typed in how to pack a suit coat. And sure enough, there was a video. How to pack a suit coat. You like tuck the pockets under and everything. It, it worked. It was amazing. So go to YouTube and type in what it is that you're looking for to learn. With the new website coming, you know there are lots of new tools at our disposal, including how to upload YouTube videos right to our website that feature our favorite products or they introduce ourselves as the Avon representative. So my favorite channel to learn how to do things that are specific and targeted to what I need to know how to do about my new website is a how-to series by Whitney Klein and Michaela Siradu. So go follow them, um, subscribe to their channel and hit that alert notification bell so that you don't miss another episode. But they have like nine or 10 videos already in that series, how to, um, again, how to start a YouTube channel. Like everybody is gonna need to know how to do that now. Something else, so I guess would be, that would YouTube is three, and then so this is the fourth. The fourth thing that you can be doing to stay productive while the website is down until Thursday, listen to a podcast. Man, podcasts are really up and coming. Podcasts are a passive way to receive information. So when I'm in the car line or when I'm cooking dinner or when I'm folding laundry, I can be listening to a podcast. So last year, my husband and I started a podcast called the Beauty Boss Essentials Podcast. And it's all about being a successful Avon representative. And we give tips on network marketing. And um, my husband is a manager in the retail business. And so he gives kind of his perspective on management in retail. And we just, we tie it all in with um, brand, our brand recognition and ways to grow your business and ways to kind of get out of your own head. So wherever it is that you listen to podcasts, whether it's Apple or Spotify or any iHeartRadio, any of the places, you can listen to um, Beauty Boss Essentials podcast. I have a spoiler. So while we were at convention, I asked the 
queen of Avon, Mama Molly Stone Bib herself agreed um, to come on our podcast as a special guest here in the next few weeks or month or so. So I'm really, really excited to interview um, the Avon Visionary Award recipient, Molly Stone Bibb and her husband, Lee, um, at our podcast. So be, be looking for that coming, coming soon. I'm so excited. Thank you, Molly, for, uh, for um, agreeing to do that. That's awesome. Okay, number six, something else that you can do when the website is down. Build your content portfolio. What does that mean? That sounds really scary. And I don't know what that means or what you're talking about. Basically, it just means take all the pictures, right? You have some extra time. Um, you have access to Facebook. You have access to your phone. You have access to all of the social media. Go ahead and take all the pictures for the next week or two. Go ahead and do your face all up, do your hair and change all the clothes, you know, maybe do some product photos of your, you know, get ready with me. Um, Jennifer Francis posted in the group earlier today um, some ideas on content that you could be creating and posting. But go ahead and, and like I said, take all the pictures, change your clothes and make a mess of your room and take all the pictures in one day so that you can build up all those pictures in your camera roll and post them at a later time. So I love to do all of my pictures and videos in one day so that I'm not like doing myself up every single day of the week. Like nobody has time for that. So then I have pictures and options to choose from in my camera roll and just write my captions around what's going on that day or what product I want to feature or a day in the life of being an Avon representative. So that's another great tip. And thank you, Jennifer, um, for posting that in the group earlier today. Some really great examples of the kind of content that you can be working on um, to kind of create some engagement. I mean, what are the three E's of better content on social media? It is entertain, it is educate, and then it's an engage. So if you can entertain them with a fun reel or um, a uh, being, your, you know, being yourself and just entertain them with some fun music, that's going to like grab their attention and get them watching what you're doing. The second E is educate. So maybe you do a makeup tutorial. Maybe you teach a little about skincare and some tips on washing their face every night because girlfriend, don't you dare go to bed without washing your face. And then third is engage. So as they're commenting and as you're building those relationships, that's where your call to action is going to come in. And like Linda Montavon said at convention, that's where the ka comes in, right? That is where you're going to um, get your followers to take action with you, whether that's to shop with you, whether that's to follow you on social media, or whether that's to join you in the business, right? So entertain, you're going to educate, and you're going to engage. So building your... Um, your picture portfolio, your content portfolio over in your camera roll is just going to make that so much easier on social media. So build your content portfolio. My seventh tip, I think we're on number seven, is build relationships. You don't have to have the Avon website to build relationships. Build relationships with your team leaders out there, maybe play some games or have a planning session over in your team group or go live, you know, and give them some tips on what they can be doing um, during this time and build relationships with your customers. I mean, how many times have I said it? This is a relationship business. So, you know, just check on them. Not in an effort to make a sale, but just in an effort to build those relationships. Ask them how their holiday is doing and how they're surviving. Ask them if they have any Christmas parties planned. What are their plans for Christmas? What kind of traditions do they have? Just last night, Matt and I took the girls um, over to this huge light show that you could drive through. 
and we let the girls hop into the back of the truck to watch the lights as we're going down um, this driveway. And we stopped and got ice cream on the way home. And that's just, that's a new tradition of ours. And it was so much fun. So just, just start conversations with your customers to build those relationships. Send them a text, just check on them. Just check on them, build those relationships. Okay, my eighth tip, build your contacts list. You don't have to have your Avon website to build your contacts list. Maybe do a Google Docs form even on Facebook to collect email addresses. Maybe grow your Facebook group, your VIP customer Facebook group as well. And you know, we know that now moving forward, our customers are gonna need a unique email address. What an amazing time to be gathering those email addresses to work off of our customer address book. And so text them and just ask them, hey, I noticed I don't have your email address yet. Let me go ahead and grab that so that you can get them excited and ready for that coupon code that comes out when the website launches. Who's excited about that? It is 10% off December 9th. Thursday through December 12th at midnight for our online customers with code Hooray10. So make sure they're they're prepared, that they that they know about it, that they're excited about it, and then ask them what they thought of the new website experience. Ask them their opinion. People love to give their opinion. So ask them what they thought, what their feedback is um, about the new website. So those are all things that you can be doing with um without the avon website right <sighs> that was a lot of tips like there is so much that we can be doing when the website is down in these next couple days because i know we want to have an amazing start to the new year because i want to see you in Cancun, who saw that the new Destination Avon trip is in Cancun, Mexico? Woohoo! I can't wait to see you guys start earning Cancun. And Cancun starts right away. It starts right now in campaign one. And I know each and every one of you can make it there to Cancun. Start early by breaking down your goals, what you need every single campaign so that you can stay on track for campaign from day one, so that you can stay on track starting in um, campaign one. So I know you can do it. I know you can. Set your mind on it that you can do it. There's so much that we can still be doing to stay productive even though the website is down. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Keep your comments and your questions coming. I'll go back and answer those for you. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. I never made it, but I know